As you read in the blog post, a few months ago we revamped our import page to provide more guidance when importing. Whether it's a basic import or an advanced import, we provided you with a sample Excel spreadsheet to help alleviate the pain. Our sample spreadsheets guide you on how to import the most used assets uh, such as stories, defects, epics, feature groups, and so forth. But recently my team received an email asking for guidance on how to import in actual backlog item templates. Since this is something that we're not asked often, uh, we've left that out of our sample spreadsheets, but I wanted to walk you through how the API can be utilized when you run into these scenarios. Uh, so let's go to the templates page within version 1. Here, I'm able to see that we already have an existing template. So I'm going to click on this. And what I'm looking for is this story ID right here. So I can utilize this uh, within my API query. Now you can learn more about querying our API. Um, I've provided a link within the blog post. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. But I'm going to go ahead and run a query. And when I run a query on that template, I see right away that the asset state for this template is 200. So what that means, when I bring up my import template for the story, I want to go ahead and add an asset state as a column, specify 200, and save. Now when I go back to version 1, I can go to the import section and upload this new uh, template that I just saved. So now that the import has succeeded, if I refresh the page and go to templates, you'll see that my new template has come in along with all the tasks.